Welcome to an example of the goodness of fit test using a chi-square distribution. In this example, we will not be determining chi-square manually using the formula shown here. We will use the T84 to determine chi-square as well as the p-value. And now for the example, one study indicates that the number of televisions that American families have is distributed as in the table shown here on the right. We'll notice how in the first column we have the number of televisions, in the second column we have the percent. This table contains the expected percentages. A random sample of 600 families in the far western United States resulted in the data shown below. We're notice in this table, the first column again gives a number of televisions, but the second column now gives the frequency out of 600. So this table contains the observed frequency values. At a 1% significance level, does it appear that the distribution number of televisions of far western U.S. families is different from the distribution for the American population as a whole. Because we have a 1% significance level, we know alpha is equal to 0.01. So this problem asks to test whether the far western U.S. families distribution fits the distribution of the American families. This test is always right-tailed to get the expected frequencies. We do have to multiply the given percentages by 600. So this first table again gives the observed frequencies to find the expected frequencies, we have to multiply the given percentages by the sample size of 600, which means we have to find 10% of 600, 16% of 600, 55% of 600, and so on to get the expected frequencies, which we need to perform the test. Now that we have the observed and expected frequencies, we will enter this data into the T84. We will enter the observed values in L1 and the expected values in L2. And I've already done this to save time. To enter values into the list, we press STAT, ENTER. And again, I already have the observed values in L1, the expected values in L2. And now let's talk about the, alter and now let's talk about the null and alternative hypotheses. Remember, we form the null hypothesis by accepting the expected frequencies as being true. And therefore, the null hypothesis is the number of televisions distribution of the far western U.S. families is the same as the number of televisions distribution of the American population. And therefore the alternative hypothesis is the number of televisions distribution of the far western U.S. families is different from the number of televisions distribution of the American population. The distribution of the test is a chi-score distribution with four degrees of freedom because the degrees of freedom are equal to the number of cells or number of categories minus one which in our case is five minus one, which is equal to four. Now we will go to the T84 to determine the test statistic as well as the p-value. To do this, we press stat, right arrow to tests. We need to arrow up or down, I'm gonna arrow up and select option D, which is chi-square goodness of fit test. Press enter. The observed values are in L1. If L1 was not entered here, we would press second number one for L1. Enter. The expected values are in L2. If this was not L2, we would press second two. Enter. Degrees of freedom four, which is correct. Enter. We can select either draw or down. I'm gonna select draw first. This will give us the graph of the chi-score distribution and also give chi-square and the p-value at the very bottom of the screen, which is very small here at the bottom. Let's go back and select calculate. Stat. Right arrow to tests, select option D, chi-square goodness of fit test, enter. Let's go down to calculate this time. Press enter. Chi-square is approximately 29.65. We need to be careful about the p-value here. Notice how we have E negative six on the far right, which indicates scientific notation. The p-value is approximately 5.78 times 10 to the power of negative six. Let's write this information down. Again, the given p-value from the calculator was approximately 5.78 times 10 to the power of negative six. To convert to decimal notation, we need to move the decimal six places to the left, which means the p-value is approximately 0.00000578. Let's go ahead and round this to Let's go ahead and round the p-value to approximately 0.000006. The p-value also gives us the probability that chi-square is greater than or equal to 
29.65. And now let's compare the p-value to alpha. Notice how the p-value is low compared to alpha. When the p-value is low, the null must go. Or more formally, because the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, or because alpha is greater than or equal to the p-value, we reject the null hypothesis. Which means we reject the belief that the distribution for the far western states is the same as that of the American population as a whole. And therefore the final conclusion is, at a 1% significance level, from the data, there is sufficient evidence to conclude that the number of televisions distribution for the far western US is different from the number of televisions distribution for the American population as a whole. I hope you found this helpful.